the last time I got an eye exam was uh, October of 07. I haven't had an eye exam in five years. My last eye exam was three years ago. I got an eye exam a month ago because I just had two cataract operations and I'm no longer wearing glasses. So yes, I did. I went last month. I need one now. <laughs> I've never had it. Well, I take that back. I did have a, an eye exam about 15 years ago. The sense of sight is one of our most valuable senses, yet it's often taken for granted. Many of us, especially today's busy women, may not be doing all we can to protect our vision. Up now, we're talking about how we can protect our sight and keep our eyes healthy, especially as we grow older. With me is Dr. Andrea Thaw, Doctor of Optometry. Welcome, Dr. Thaw. Thank you for From me. New York City. Uh, tell me about the changing eye. What happens to women, especially in their 40s? After the age of 40, there are many changes that take place in women's eyes. The first thing that most women will experience is blur and trouble focusing their eyes when they're looking at things up close. In there. Uh -huh. And in addition to that, there are significant eye health changes that start to take place, things like dry eye, and also serious conditions like glaucoma, macular degeneration, and cataracts are more prevalent after age 40 and especially prevalent after age 60. So what should we be doing? The most important thing to do is to follow the guidelines of the American Optometric Association and make sure that you have your eyes examined at least every two years between the ages of 40 and 60 and yearly after the age of 60. So they suggest every two years. I would have thought that it made sense to do it every year like when you're doing your mammogram and your other health checkups. It is important to include your eye exams into your routine regular health exams as well so you don't forget. And for contact lens wearers, it is important to be seen on a yearly basis. Yeah. It's never too often to make sure that you take good care of your vision. Are women getting there enough? No, they're not, actually. There was a survey, the American IQ survey, that was commissioned by the American Optometric Association that showed that despite the fact that one in two women thought that vision was the most important sense, one in four had not had an eye exam in over three years. Three years. Yeah, that's, that, that's probably pushing it, especially with the eye changing so much in the 40s. And with so many women having babies in their 40s, they've got the compounded eye changes accompanied with pregnancy and aging, correct? It's correct. I mean, your doctor of optometry can do lots to help you protect and preserve your vision. For things like dry eyes, there's all kinds of treatments to help you feel more comfortable and protect the health of your eyes. And particularly with those other serious health conditions, the doctor of optometry can make sure that you have good vision for the rest of your life. Some of those health conditions, are there any warning signs that we should be aware of? Most of them don't have any warning signs. That's the hard part. Yikes! And it's always frustrating to me to see someone that comes in for an exam that hasn't been examined in five years and find out that they had a condition that was was treatable and preventable and now they're left with permanent vision loss. Wow. Um, what else can we be doing to protect our vision? Well, there are lots of things we can do. First of all, the most important thing to do is to make sure that you're wearing high-quality sunglasses that protect your eyes from the damaging ultraviolet radiation from the sun. So it's a good idea to wear sunglasses every time you go outside. And, and what do we look for when we're buying sunglasses on the label? It's great if it says UVA and UVB. Try to stick with name brands that you recognize that they have labeling that you can really trust. In addition, it's important not to smoke. Smoking is really bad for your eyes. And in addition to all the other health problems, it increases your incidence of cataracts and macular degeneration. Make sure you eat right. Include green leafy vegetables, particularly spinach and kale. Really helpful it to the pigment. It always boils down to spinach and kale, doesn't it? <laughs> Make sure you follow your mom's advice and eat all those healthy foods. Uh, and in addition, nowadays we're using computers so often, it's important to take rest breaks with your eyes. We like to follow the American Optometric Association's 2020 rule, which is to take a 20-second rest break after 20 minutes of using the computer. And make sure you get your eyes examined, because many people do need special glasses dedicated for computer use to increase visual efficiency. Resting. That means you actually get to close your eyes and rest. Well, what I like p to tell patients to do is to look far away, look away from the screen, look out a window, down a hallway, to let your eyes shift to looking far. Our eyes were not designed to be used for prolonged near work, and yet that's what most of us do. Look at the landscape, enjoy nature, and then go back to YouTube. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Thaw, with so much activity and responsibility in our everyday life. We often forget the importance of regular checkups. Being conscious about our health, including our eyesight, um, is important, but all of our health, it allows us to make small but significant improvements in our lifestyle that will not only prevent cellular damage but will enable us to enrich our lives. I'm Wendy Walsh. Thank you for joining us today on The Balancing Act.